Hello guys. I'm in the snake room at night and we have an interesting development. For the first time the Crotalus the unicolor bit the mouse that I had given him her sorry and held it. I think she was either hungry or she liked her new enclosure better, I don't know. She felt more secure. But she is holding it now. And I assume she will start eating soon. My viewers will know that this is the Aruba Island rattlesnake, a rare, very rare snake in the wild. It only lives on a small island and because of development, habitat destruction and basically non-protection The species is uh, critically endangered. They were imported into Europe a while ago. And we have a small population in Europe. And this little girl is bred from that population. She was staying in a small Exeterra terrarium. But I moved her to a 60 centimeter long cage. Half of the cage has sand, the other half has um, another desert type substrate, but not as coarse as sand. And a lot of leaves and some tree bark. And she seems to be enjoying that side more. And again, for the first time, she bit, held, and is eating in front of me. Which I see is a very big development. She is the only animal that I feed in her cage. Uh, because first, she doesn't eat outside. And second, she's a pit viper and I really hate to mess with pit vipers. I take them out very occasionally and only when I need to take them out. But as you can see, she has a very nice pink-blue coloration, which is very common the island that they live. I think the sand color is similar. Hence the snakes use this kind of color to camouflage themselves. And she's getting actually bluer and pinker with each shed, which is amazing. I have said this before, you know, I'm a big death adder guy and I also absolutely love cobras. But coloration wise, this snake may be the best looking venomous snake out there. The color is just amazing to look at, especially in person. I'm, I'm very sorry that we cannot see much of her head as she's mainly eating inside the coconut shell that I have as a hide but I think it's very nice that she's feeding by herself and she's doing this you know in front of me without you know me wondering if she would eat or not
and this is very nice of her and I am very happy to share this wonderful animal with my subscribers and there we go she is done and her arsenal of weapons are back online so I'm going to be very careful my, where my fingers are pit vipers are called pit vipers because they have pits on their faces and in those pits they have heat sensing cells pretty much like most pythons and they can see an infrared vision of you, me or any other warm-blooded person in complete darkness which, uh, you know, with a very nasty venom I think is something that should be properly avoided as much as we can I mean a cobra will kill you faster, a death adder, you know will kill you more efficiently if you don't have anti-venom but with neurotoxic venom, when you have anti-venom available, what will happen is you will basically just go out of the hospital next day with no harm done. With these guys, even if there is anti-venom available, you are in a lot of hurt. Anyway, I don't want to stress her much. I think she did a great job with that little pinky. Uh, this was a first, so I wanted to document it. I think it's the cage. Let me show you her cage. So we have the woodland part on this side, and then the desert part right under the light here on this side. And this seems to have worked out just wonderfully with her. And for the first time she was comfortable. I guess. So giving animals options is always a good idea. Anyway, that pupil, if you look at it, it kind of scares me. It shows me that she is pissed. So I'm just going to leave her alone. And she's also seemed to be retreating anyway. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this special occasion with me. Have a good day.